Zoe. I'm going to play Peggle, Zoe. Are you interested in Peggle? She's licking my hand right now. She's right here. Yep. Let's play some Peggle, huh? Hey guys, what's going on? Gassy Mexican here, and I am going to play some Peggle. Going to play some Peggle for you guys. I felt like playing some Peggle, uh, talk about some stuff, kind of an update video. I'm going to talk about some stuff I've already talked about before um, in a previous Peggle update kind of thing. But I haven't done one of these in a while, so I figured I'd, uh, you know, do that. Go to single player. Peggle Institute. We haven't even finished Peggle Institute. We're nearly done with Peggle Institute. I didn't, I didn't play a whole lot last time. And I have no idea how long I'll play this time, but let's let's go. Uh, we're on nine. Let's just do it. I have to burp. I have to burp. It's gonna happen. Uh, there it is. Okay. So, hi, I'm Bjorn. Let's play Peggle. I already did this. I thought. I thought I already did this. Why? Why are we doing this again? Every time you play, an oh, I see. It's giving me the rundown for this level. Every time you play, orange and green pegs. Uh, are in different positions. I knew that. I'm not stupid. That's called awesome game design. Well, I mean... Oh, he just shat out the level. Did you see? Ugh. Okay, so the orange pegs, right. Those are the ones that I want. The green pegs do the, the modifier stuffs. Let's get a green peg, because I don't remember what it does exactly. Right, super guide. How does we do super guide? Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. And that's how we finesse things. You can just kind of click it like that. Oh, this is good. I'm getting back into the Peggle groove. As you can see this time, I have the face cam right here. I'm actually playing downstairs on the bigger screen on the TV setup that you guys have yet to see. And that's one of my topics, so we might as well just talk about that. Um, Move-in video. Not move-in video. House tour video. I know you guys are, are... You guys want that video so bad. You're like, Gassy, where is the house tour video? And how come I haven't seen it yet? Well, there's a simple Ansel. F Ansel? Eh? It's a word, maybe. Free ball. Um, there's a simple answer for that, and that is we haven't filmed it yet. And the reason why we haven't filmed it yet is because we've been crazy busy. Um, to be honest, we have been working on uh, getting our house set up. We don't want to just show you guys it when it's crappy. Uh, and by crappy, I mean devoid of all of our stuff, you know, and it just doesn't look homey. We don't like that. Isn't there a way to fast forward the level? There's a way to do it before. I can't remember. Shit, I hit the A button when I meant to press some other button. But yeah, like I said... Um, we want to show you guys the house when it's ready, when we're good and ready. I mentioned this before in the other Peggle video, I'm pretty sure, but I'm just reiterating what, what I said before. Um, other thing, kind of segueing into the other stuff I was going to talk about, is uh, conventions. There's been a lot of conventions going on. And by a lot of conventions, I mean just one so far. Um, we just came off of GDC, which happened in uh, San Francisco here. And it was good. It was our first GDC. If you guys don't know what GDC is, it's Game Developers Conference. It's basically where all the game devs and industry people um, gather in San Francisco and, you know, show you, show everybody uh, their hot shit that they're making or uh, technology, you know, to make games. I actually saw a, um, a booth, and I know this isn't necessarily new technology, but I saw a booth that uh, had four Rebel 3 TI, 3Ti's? Four Rebel T3Is set up all around a, ch a chair, and it was um, the technology was basically instant 3D photorealistic modeling for games, which is pretty awesome. And I know they kind of did something like that with um, with uh, what's it called, LA Noir and stuff, or like the face recognition that they were all about, like you know, getting the facial animation and stuff like that. But this is like, I think I didn't get a chance to talk to the guys because I guess they were on lunch by the time I got to their booth. Um, and they didn't come back in time until I, you know, before I left the area. Please get that other orange box. Ugh. As to be expected, since this is more about me talking to you guys about stuff. Um, the Peggle gameplay, play, not the best. Not the best. I could use a super guide right now, because I really want to, like, bank shot and get that orange, orange peg. How about, about, how about this? Maybe it'll bounce up. Oh, son of a bitch. It's okay. We still have three pegs, or three balls. Uh, this needs to get out of my way. I'm just gonna take the cheap win out of this and oh, that'd be nice if I got it. There you go. Boom. But anyways, yeah, I uh, I think they were more about talking back about the uh, the 3D modeling, uh, photorealistic 3D modeling. Um, I think that's more what it was about. I don't know if it was about like capturing animations and stuff. Get that hundred thousand. Nope, it's not gonna happen. 
uh, I think it was more about just making a 3D model that you can import then into your game engine or whatever and use, um, and then, you know, do your own animations and stuff like that. Which I know they did a little bit of in L.A. Noir. It was mainly, like, like I said, L.A. Noir, they captured the face and stuff like that and the animations to get really realistic animations. Um, and it, it, it kind of worked. I played a little bit of L.A. Noir, and that's actually a game I kind of want to stream in the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. These are armored bricks. They take multiple hits. Ludicrous! It is ludicrous. Look at this shit. This is bullshit. I'm not ready for this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. Um, I saw some of the, the, the test people that had come, or not test people, that some of the other attendees had sat down before and they had like that loaded up so you could see how it worked. But interesting technology. Very cool. So I guess I'll just talk about some of the stuff I've seen at GDC. Um, neat stuff like, uh, like I said, the photorealistic thing. Um... 3D modeling or whatever. I'm just going to hit one of these bricks and see what happens. So I have to... That's stupid. I don't want to have to work twice as hard. What are you doing, game? Even the little bricks at the bottom are like that? The little pegs at the bottom have armor? That's bullshit. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that stuff and um, spent a lot of time in the indie area. Got to... Well, I didn't really meet him, but I saw him. And I was going to say hi, but the rest of the people that I were with... That I were with... That I was with, um, you know, they kind of wanted to keep moving. I met the guy uh, who made um, Papers, Please. And I wish I had it with me right here. Um, I got a... a <laughs> he had for, like, swag or whatever, just, like, something to grab from his little booth there. Um, he had little passports. They weren't actually like, foldable passports, but... I guess you could fold it if you wanted to, but they were printed out like photo kind of good co good color, you know, uh, representations of the little passports and of of stuff that people give you in game, and you were able to grab it, and you had the little stamp for for either uh, you know accepted or rejected or whatever entry rejected or uh, accepted, and it's sweet. So you were able to stamp your passport, and he had all the different people from the game, like all the different faces. None of them were the same. Um, well, I mean, there were repeats, but you know what I mean? He had, he took the time to not just have the same one for every person. Nick got one, and it was, uh, you might have seen it, he tweeted it out, and I tweeted out mine. Um, there, there is one of the characters that looks exactly kind of like Nick. He's got the beard and stuff, and Nick kind of, like, mimicked the way it looked. Anyways, it was really cool. Um, got to see that guy. Um, I believe his name is Lucas Pope, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure that's the guy who made it. Um, I saw, again, Davy Jones, I believe? Davy... Maybe not Davy Jones. I think it's Davy Jones. Davy Jones Locker. No. Uh, Davy something. I can't remember his last name. I think it's Jones, but don't quote me on that. Uh, the guy who made the Stanley Parable. They were there too. Or rather, he was there too. I didn't get a chance to talk to him this time. But very cool guy. It was just neat being able to see him again after playing the Stanley Parable. Get that 100,000! Yes! I got it. Look at the unicorn so proud of me. I think I beat the tutorial thing for Peggle 2. Isn't that amazing? It only took uh, several videos. It's great. <clears throat> Optional objectives, clear all pegs, get a score of 500,000, get one mad skills style shot. I didn't, I didn't get that, but. So anyways, um, those are some of the games that I've already seen before. Holy shit, Bjorn, what was that? Bjorn costume unlocked. All Peggle Institute trials unlocked. Mountain Highs unlocked. I don't know what all that stuff is. We're going to find out. Remarkable! Now let's zoom into mystery. I agree. Let's zoom into all of the mystery. Trials! Mountain Hill, or Mountain Highs. Okay, cool. I can, okay. So I can do trials. I don't want to do Peggle Institute. I think we'll go, what is that? Is that like a boozed up uh, dwarf or something? He's got like a keg of, of beer. Why is his nose so red? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Dwarf? I don't know. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Dwarf holding his keg of beer. We're not doing that. We're not going to do that. Uh, they said there were some costumes for, for Mr. Bjorn. Where can I apply these costumes? Oh, switch profile? Nope, that's something entirely different. That is entirely different. Nope, don't want that. Don't want that at all. Whatever. I'm okay with just what we've been doing. Single player. All right, go back to Mountain Highs. Let's start it up. But yeah, I saw that. Oh, what the hell is going on here? This is a cutscene. Focus, focus, there we go. Introducing a new master, Jeff. Who fucks Jeff? Hi, Jeff, you're freaking me out. Why you gotta be all shadowy? This isn't Sin City, dude. Oh, okay, it's that guy, it's that guy. <laughs> I see, I was, I was tricked. I was tricked. 
The animations and stuff for this is, wow, the art for this is fucking great. Hey man, I'm Jeff! I knew it. I knew it, Jeff, you silly bastard. Jeffrey or the Jefferino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. Oh! Shit. That is a big Lebowski reference right there. I like Jeff already. I was a little, eh, I'm Jeff. Now I'm liking him. Cheers to that, Jeff. Got a beer right here, conveniently. Hit some green to use my boulder power for one shot. Nice, he just fist bumped. Okay, so Jeff doesn't fart the level. He doesn't shit the level out. Jeff just fist bumps it into, into submission, we'll say. Clear all the pegs. All right. So back on the topic of GDC, I'm kind of rambling. It's not a very professional video where I have great clear cut and very articulate, articulate? See, my point exactly. Articulate commentary. It's just kind of all over the place. Okay, so I can, what? I can just fist bump all these fucking pegs? Does it just take out like a big chunk of them? Let's find out. Oh, damn, Jeff, you got, you got, oh shit. I was hoping I would get a free ball. Maybe a free boulder. Oh, here comes Zoe. She's gonna jump up. Wait for it. Do it, Joe. Oh, there she is. That's my cat, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. Um, everybody's looking at the cat now. Oh, she's out of frame. A little bit of hers right there. <laughs> <coughs> the internet loves cats. You can't go wrong with having a cat in your video, can you? Free ball. Um, so yeah, GDC. Saw that stuff. Um, I saw... What's it called? Actually, I, I, Renee played it. I didn't play it, but it was another game called something. It doesn't really help. Um, it was, a, I can't remember the game name. Maybe some people will know in the comments or whatever, just hearing me describe it. But it's a, it's a horror game, kind of similar, like like an amnesia sort of vibe where you're wandering around and you gotta like solve pu puzzles and move around and you got the little hand thing, you know, um, when you mouse over things that you can interact with in the world. But you're a toddler, basically, and you're experiencing reality presumably someone's house or whatever, um, wherever the toddler's staying, um, in the mind of a toddler, like, kind of like his nightmare, you know what I mean? So, like, the toddler could experience somebody going like, Hi, how you doing? As like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's a toddler, you don't know. Um, and everything's already huge to a toddler as far as perspective and stuff. I am not playing very good right now at all. I gotta focus. Um, but it's very interesting. It's a good premise for, like, a horror game. I'm not super into horror games, but that's neat. That 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 kind of is a a good explanation for why things are all fucked up and weird in my mind. So I thought that was kind of an original idea, um, and that's kind of refreshing. You don't see a lot of that in the the horror genre. Um, it's all just kind of the same stuff, like ooh, spooky monsters and all that. So you're a toddler. You're going around. I'm just gonna fucking boulder this last one. Look at this. It's so unnecessary. America, fuck yeah! Get in there. Yes. And it, you know what? And it gave me a nice uh, 100,000 points there. So perfect. But it's cool. I, I wish I could remember the name. Something, I'm not even gonna try. I, I wish, I wish I, you know what? I took a picture of it on my phone, I think. Did I take a picture of it on my phone? I'm gonna check, I have my phone right here. I don't know if I took a picture of it on my phone or the camera that I was recording a little bit of the gameplay with. I don't think I took a picture of it on my phone because I'm a shit, I'm a terrible person. Anyways. Uh, neat game. Um, what else did I play? I played Goat Simulator! Goat Simulator! Fuck yes! That game was awesome! By Coffee Stain Studios. Um, see, this one I remember. Um, <laughs> game of the year, or game of GDC for me. Goat Simulator is absolutely ridiculous. I chatted a little bit with the guy that made it. Um, nice guy. I think he's like Swedish or something? I don't know. He had an accent. I didn't know where he was from. But Go Simulator, if you guys don't know, is a ridiculous game that's going to be coming out pretty soon. I already pre-ordered it. You guys should, too. You will see videos of me playing it. Um, the only downside of Goat Simulator is that there isn't any multiplayer. And what it is is basically you're just a goat. It's a joke kind of a, ga of a game. It started out as a joke, and then it gained a lot of traction, and, and people really wanted to see it and play it. Uh, so you just run around in, like, suburban neighborhoods as a joke, like, just ramming into people and, like, licking them. And there's different modifiers, the, the, the dev... Uh, the guy who made it went into like, you know, into like a menu and then strapped on a jetpack onto the goat so I could just jetpack around. I have some footage of it. Um, I might just cut together like a little mini Taj of uh, GDC because I didn't really take a lot of footage. So I might just cut together like a really quick, tiny, you know, just of all the snippets of footage that I took. And I had some footage um, of Goat Simulator when I recorded me playing that a little bit. 
it's just a ridiculous game. Um, it would be amazing if they had a multiplayer. I hope that they eventually can, but he was explaining to me that it's, you know, it's so intensive already as it is um, with just it being single player that, you know, doing multiplayer would be a whole other thing. And they weren't exactly expecting to flesh out Goat Simulator into a real game. It was just kind of a joke from what I understand. So kind of a bummer there's no multiplayer to start out the gate, but it's, it's a ridiculous game. I suggest you go look up for yourself some Goat Simulator footage and you won't regret it. You're going to want to buy it and play it. Um, and I think that's coming out pretty soon. But I played Goat Simulator, went to some parties. Went to some parties. Went to a bar called Soda Papinski in um, San Francisco. So for all you San Francisco locals, you can go to so Soda Papinski. And uh, it's, 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 a, it's not a very huge bar, but it's kind of a chill bar. It's basically the way I would set up a bar if I did. Um, they have uh, a big screen in the back mounted on top of the wall. It's a regular bar, full bar, got everything there, um, and there's a uh, TV in the back that has an, an NES or a NES hooked up to it, um, with a bunch of different games there, all the big cart, you know, all the old school cartridges and whatever, they have a bunch of different games there, and, uh, and an N64 with all sorts of fucking classic games like GoldenEye, um, Pokemon Stadium was there. They had some other ones that were better, but you had to, like, you know, give them your ID in order to play it, which is totally understandable because uh, those games are kind of rare now, which is weird to say that N64 games are rare now, but, you know, you can't find yourself uh, a GoldenEye everywhere. Um, or some other ones. I, I can't remember the, the names of them, but there was uh, Zelda, GoldenEye Wave Race, 1080 Snowboarding, the list goes on and on and on. Lots of really good games. So I played that with uh, some other buddies that we met up with at GDC. And it was great. And then and then the TV, they had just had like random John Candy movies, like old school, like air airplane movies with, um, I can't remember his name, but you know what I'm talking about. Those types, like space balls, those types of movies. Um, really cool bar. Soda Popinski is what it's called. So if you guys want to check it out, if you're in the SF area or you're, or you're visiting sometime.